and welcome to Around the World. Starring Joe Baverstock. Starring Matt Jessup. So now, yes, the killer wave, they say so. Yeah, but um, how does it start? Hmm, I'm not so sure. Do you know? I know someone that does know. Oh, who? Did you know he makes Einstein look like a div? It's Mrs. D. Well, it could be, but no, it's Heather. It's Heather the Clever. Surrounding the Pacific Ocean is what we call the Ring of Fire. 75% of the world's volcanoes and 90% of the world's earthquakes take place in the zone. Now, when an earthquake occurs, the Earth's plates shift. This sends out a seismic wave. Now, the wave can travel at nearly 500 miles per hour. Over the open ocean, the wave would only be a few inches high. A ship at sea probably wouldn't even notice it. It would just pass right underneath of them. The seismic wave only becomes dangerous as it approaches the coastline. The ocean floor lifts the wave up. Now, it doesn't break on the beach like we think of. Instead, it becomes a mountain of water. As we saw in Japan, this mound of water can move inland and completely destroy whole communities. Oh, so, so that's that how they're made. Guess so, and they're in the ring of fire. Totally. Remember that one, ladies and gentlemen, for later. <coughs> I think um, they're quite scary, to be honest. Why's that? They're just a wave, surely. Look at this. <laughs> Definitely agree with you, that one. Very terrifying. If it's in the cinema, it should be an 18. True fact. So, moving on, now we move on to the impact it has on people and I know someone that has been in a tsunami. Who? Can't be Mrs D, Heather the Clever, who could it possibly be? It's Mitch, our star. That must have been devastating for Michael Morton, but we hear his opinions now as he's sitting with us in the studio. Ooh. Hello everyone. The man, take a seat in our lovely uh, seats now. Good to meet you Michael. It's good to meet you too, Joe. So Michael, you seem so happy. How did you feel when you saw the waves coming and crashing in towards you? I mean, it was devastating, the horror of the harbour wave. Oh, and for those who don't know what the harbour wave is, it's the Japanese for, for tsunami. Interesting stuff there, Michael. So, what was it like to see your family and your house just get washed away? It was awful. Everything I had has gone. Very true. So, what did you do, like, on the after effects? How did you get back here? How, how did, did, you you try, did you try and run away from the tsunami? No, they rescued me. Did you stay on top of your roof? Oh yeah, I did. Oh, so very I, could, I could see with the recording of your video. Good recording, by the way. Oh, thank you very much, Joe. Thank you very much for coming in with us today. Doesn't he have to play our little game? True fact, true fact. So, 
We have had many contestants come in, Callum Scriven, Parachi Sajpol, a bit of the Katie Brown, and they've come in and done our guest game. So I think it's time for you to do that. Over to the game arena. Now we're going through to the live game arena, where we keep warming up to the dance pack. We have 10 points for Antarctica, as it's quite a small one, etc, etc. Now, our top scorer so far on our DOS Tech scoreboard is her action tackle. She is the one to beat with 15 points. Next score, Callum Scriven with a whopping 11. Then, sadly, at the bottom of the scoreboard, we have Florine Stoner with 4 points. So, Mitch, you think you can beat that? Yeah, I can. I can win it, definitely. Good man, pick up your darts, ready to go. On the board. Okay, zooming right. So, oh, close. Seven points. Needs a another seven. He makes fourteen. Sadly, that's not enough, Mitch. But don't worry, you'll safely go into second spot. Well played, Mitch. We're glad we've had you on our program around the world today. See you later. Bye bye. Please exit the door. Back to the studio. Now, Woo back from the studio is a great attempt by Michael Morton. Now, moving on to question of the day. Are these the best shortbreads in the world? No, Joe. Oh, the question of the day is. What was the worst ever tsunami? Devastating. Now on, now on to. Mitch Squeeze is Mitch Squeeze is Mitch Squeeze. Question number one: What date did the worst tsunami occur? Question number two: What was the death toll for the Indian Ocean tsunami? Question number three: What is the Japanese word? For tsunami. Question number four. Where do tsunamis often occur? Question number five. How much of the tsunamis occur in the Pacific Ocean? And remember, it has to be in percentage. Thank you for watching today's episode of Around the World. See you next time. Goodbye.